Yes, Amber. I'm bored too. But I know about a fun game that my cousins play very often. Wow, Crokey. Tell me more about this new game. Well, it's very simple. All we have to do is to jump from one point. If I jump longer, I win. If you jump longer, you win. So, it is basically a matter of who covers more distance in a single jump the game sounds good but uh, but how will we know who has covered more distance mm, i don't know that i think we should ask mr brown he comes to this park for a walk every evening let us wait till he comes we will ask him about distance and then start the game so amber and croaky looks like you two want to ask me something yes mr brown croaky and i have been waiting for you we want to play a new game called the jumping game croaky and i have to jump from one point if i jump longer i win if croaky jumps longer he wins that sounds like a fun game. But we don't know how to find out who has jumped longer. Don't worry. You two start the game and I will help you figure out who wins. This is the start line. Stand here first and then jump, Amber. Okay. Wee! Hey, look. I jumped till here. Now it's your turn, Crokey. Here I go! Yay! Wow! I jumped till here! Now will you help us find the winner of this game, Uncle Brown? Yes, of course! We need to find out who has covered the longer distance in a single jump. So, first let us learn about distance. Distance is the length between two points. Amber jumped first. So, let us measure the distance he jumped. Now, to measure the distance Amber jumped, we will have to measure the length between the start line and his paw print. And how do we measure distance? That's a great question. Crokey, we can use various objects such as bottles, cups or ropes to measure distance. Let me show you how this bottle will help us to measure the distance. We can also use body parts such as fingers, hands and feet to measure length. We will use this bottle to measure the distance. We will first place the bottle at the starting point. Then, place it as many times as we need to reach Amber's paw print. You can find the distance by counting how many times I place the bottle. Now, count carefully. kept the bottle six times. So the distance I jumped is six. Actually, the distance is six bottles. Length is always described using a number and a unit. The unit tells us what is used to measure length. The number tells us how many times the unit is repeated? So, in six bottles, six is the number. And bottles is the unit. 
That's correct, Amber. Now, let us measure the distance Crokey jumped. Yes, Mr. Brown. Let me try to measure. Sure, Amber. But first, let me tell you a faster way of measuring. We can measure length faster by guessing. How can we guess length? To guess distance, imagine the distance in terms of measuring unit. For example, bottles. Now, see? Crokey's paw prints are a little ahead of your paw prints. Amber's paw prints were six bottles away from the start line. This means that Crokey's paw prints are more than six bottles away from the start line. So, how should we measure the remaining distance? Well, you can guess the distance by imagining how many extra units will be needed to measure complete length? Oh, that way, Mr. Brown. Let me try. Go ahead. You just need to guess how many times would you need to place the bottle between your paw print and Crokey's footprints. measure the whole distance by adding three more bottles. So the distance Crokey jumped is six plus three. That is nine bottles. Great, Amber. This was a brilliant answer. That means I won. Because I jumped nine bottles and Amber jumped the distance of six bottles. Congratulations, Crokey. But uh, do you know that if you measure the distance using your hands, it will not be nine paws. You are right, Mr. Brown. I have jumped 12 hand spans and Amber has jumped 8 hand spans. But why is there a difference in the number of units? Crokey. It's because the length of your hand and bottle is not the same. We get different lengths if we use different objects to measure it. Now, both of you know how to measure distance with objects. Yes, I know that I jumped the distance of six bottles. Okay, suppose the bottle you used to measure was smaller. Would the distance still be six bottles? No, the distance would increase. Right, Amber. Objects such as bottles, cups, feet, handspans do not give the same measurement all the time. So, they are called non-standard units of measurement. So, we need to have standard units. But why do we need standard units? We need standard units like centimeter, meter and kilometer because they remain the same always. For example, 3 centimeter is 3 centimeter anywhere in the world because centimeter is a standard unit. Mr. Brown, how do we measure in terms of centimeters? Well, we use a measuring scale. The one you find in your geometry box. Look at this scale. See? There are small and big markings. Small markings are millimeters. And big ones are centimeters. To measure the distance between two points, we count the number of markings. For example, to measure the length of my hand, I keep it on the 0 cm mark. See? This ends at the 4 cm mark. So, the length of my hand is 4 cm. Wow! Now I can measure the length of my hand, my forearm and this button. 
That's a good idea. Then, you can compare their lengths and see which is the longest. Okay. Mr. Brown, the length of my hand is 3 centimeters. The length of my forearm is 6 centimeters. And the length of the bottle is 5 centimeters. So my forearm is longest. It's getting late. Come on, let us go home now. Hey guys, I need to measure lots of things. So, let's quickly go over what we learned today. Length can be measured using non-standard units of measurement. The non-standard units include objects such as bottles and cups and body parts such as hands and feet. The standard units of measurements are centimeters, meters and kilometers. 